So you might think, considering the risk here, the stakes being, you know, rotting in prison for the rest of his life, like literally three or four years in prison, then um, he would probably want to listen, but he didn't. So you might think he must have been persuaded by a true legal mastermind. Someone with a lot of experience in the system, maybe someone who's gotten people off for similar sorts of charges. No, no. Uh, he did have lawyers, by the way, but he had someone else. Who did he have? Tom Fitton. Now, if you are not terminally online, there's no reason why you would know who this is. But if you've spent more time than you probably should have on Twitter over the last decade, you've probably come across him. He is the head of the conservative group Judicial Watch. A range of others also like were with him in encouraging Trump. But according to Tom Fitton, he was the guy. Tom Fitton, by the way, still around. Last year, he's telling Trump to fight. Uh, this week, he's having filet mignon, he says, with Trump. Which, by the way, you know that you eat fancy meals all the time when you're recounting a story that just happened and you you feel the need to say the fancy meat that you ate. It's definitely something you're used to when you have to point that out in a story. But anyway, um, so that is Tom Fitton, head of the conservative group Judicial Watch. Here's the thing about that. Many people hear Judicial Watch and they think, oh, it's like something about judges, something about SCOTUS, and it is. You know, they file a bunch of like BS lawsuits or whatever, but they're in that area. That doesn't mean he's a lawyer, because he's not. He got a bachelor's degree in English from George Washington University. There's nothing wrong with any of that, but it's not a law degree. And the thing about that that I think is great isn't just that Trump is like flipping the bird to a bunch of people who are desperately trying to keep him out of jail with their actual legal degrees and their courtroom experience and going with this guy who, you know, studied Shakespeare or whatever. I don't know. I like it. Maybe I don't know. He studied Hemingway. It's that Tom Fitton has been the head of Judicial Watch since 1998. Long time, long tenure. That's decades. So the issue isn't that Tom Fitton, who wants his entire career, to be about challenges to the legal system, expertise in the legal system. The issue isn't that in 1998, he didn't have a law degree. It's that in the decades since then, he didn't decide to get one. <laughs> like, It's a three year thing. It's not easy or anything, but you could have fit it in. Hell, you could have gotten it during the pandemic. Everyone was at home, put aside your sourdough starter and finally get a legal degree to lend some authenticity and expertise to your chosen career. But he didn't do that and maybe he didn't need to. Why would you when right wing presidents still take your legal opinion over actual lawyers? What do you think Viviana? I mean, I wouldn't take too much stock in the fact that Trump, you know, gives you his his uh his ear. He was taking advice from, you know, the Lindell pillow guy. <laughs> so, this is a step up, you know, at least this guy is sort of involved in something legal related. I mean, you're totally right though, why not just get your degree? I mean, you're totally involved with the law and rulings and you're reading about stuff all the time. You probably could just take the bar. I mean, Kim Kardashian passed it during that time. You could have done it too. I don't see why you didn't. Anyway, I'm not surprised that Trump is just finding people that are telling him yes. There's this old movie um, it's a, from like the 1930s and the tagline is pay the $2. This guy spits in the street. The cop's gonna give him a fine and he's about to pay it. And this guy's this guy, you don't pay that. He listens to this guy, he ends up on death row. He should have just paid the two dollars. And that's Trump's situation here. Pay the two dollars. Yeah. People were gonna give you an out, but you wanna act like you're above everything and you're gonna get into a lot more trouble. I mean, yeah. it's kind of good for us because he's digging his own grave, you know? Hundred percent. Yeah, by the way, um, I want to give some credit to Big Bull Dragon. So pointed out a part of this. So Tom Fitton actually shows up in a related sort of issue to all of this. So every once in a while, Donald Trump, amongst many other random things that he will say in his defense, is he will say there's two things that supposedly mean that he shouldn't get any trouble. So one of them is the Presidential Records Act. We did a breakdown yesterday on the show. It's up on the YouTube channel of how that is not remotely true. The other is the, the Clinton Sachs case. So what is that? Well, to just follow Trump, you wouldn't know because man on the right, they just reference stuff and they provide no context. They expect that 
you've been watching Tucker Carlson 24 hours a day for seven years, so you know all this stuff. But what it is, is it's a case that Tom Fitton was involved in, not as a lawyer, because again, he's not a lawyer. But the judicial watch was, they started it. So the basic idea was that supposedly that Clinton had some tape in his sock drawer, and they were saying that he wasn't supposed to have that tape. He was found to have judicial watch, Tom Fitton obviously had no standing, they found that. But also that there was no legal mechanism to make Clinton give up the tape. It wasn't an official document, it wasn't a national security secret, it wasn't any of this stuff. And it, by the way, of course, has nothing to do with the legal trouble that Trump finds himself in. But he thinks that it does. They lost that, that was years ago, they lost that. But coming out of that, Trump thinks, no, they're winners. It fell apart, it blew up in their face. But I'm still gonna go with that guy, absolutely insane. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.